going to the tower. I don't know where in the tower, but we're going to the tower. New monarchy. No New monarch shit, we're going to the tower. New monarchy fire pit. <laughs> New monarchy fire pit it is. Um, we are <laughs> live on Damn Twitch. Me. This is Private live. Black. And I've got, I've got a few, uh, few people with me here today. I'd like everyone to introduce themselves in no particular order. Knock <laughs> me. I'm the Puma Man, the Clan Puma. Do do do. Jatari. I'm Maxi. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me for our seventh town hall meeting. A uh, couple of uh, housekeeping items I want to go over before we get to it. Uh, the purpose of these meetings is to get more Ravens involved that want to be involved with our community. Now, these meetings will be yeah. conducted as such. When a person has the floor, I want them to be the only one speaking. Now, if you have background noise, please mute your mic unless you are the one speaking. Now, once a person has finished speaking, please make it known that you're finished. Be like, all right, I'm, that was my point. I'm done. Something like that. If you are directing a specific question to a person, then please name that person before asking your question. Uh, now, if you want to answer a question that is not directed to a specific person, then please, you know, state your name and say that you would like to answer the question or concern. Now, remember, there are no stupid questions. Everyone, please be respectful and courteous. If you are unable to speak politely, then you will be asked to leave the meeting. Uh, for the individuals watching the stream, please post questions and they will be answered in the order they are received. And with that, let us get to the new Monarchy Fire Pit. I think a few people are already there while I was busy gabbing. I beat y'all. Yammering away <laughs> like a crazy chick in a bathroom. I, I just, I just want to make sure that uh, Roll to Play is here. Uh, on Woo! the Twitch, thank you for joining us. Roll to play. Uh, we're famous. And I'm actually gonna make a note in the chat right now that we are live on Twitch before we go any further. I'm oh. lost. What are you guys? I'm alive. We are in the I'm New dead. Monarchy Fire Pit and... by oh, the monarchy. by the speaker your balls off my face or I'll slap him. Whoa. It's not actually by the new monarchy guy, as I found out. It's behind him. Yeah. That's right. That guy. Let's see. For all the, just look for all the green dots. I knew we had so many crybabies in a clan. What? Give me a what? Actually, I was crying. We oh, are live good. on Twitch. Ravens. All right. I don't get to see my face right now. Not much. So. Right. I look weird. This is our seventh town hall meeting, as I mentioned earlier, and I wanted to go over a few things before I open up the floor uh, to let everyone uh, comment and uh, bring up ideas that they may have or add to any of the points that I have. Uh, so the first point of business is throwback Thursdays yeah. now what I want to do is make sure that everyone is aware of throwback Thursdays everyone here in the party know about throwback Thursdays yes no yep. 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 yes indeed I'm just unfortunately not able to really do them anymore because I'm busy on Thursdays a lot brutal. I have in the past at least <laughs> brutal Good. What I want is for everyone to know that this coming, wait, not this coming Thursday, uh, the 21st, is that, is that, is that correct, Thursday, right? Yeah, the 20, oh shit, that's uh, the Thursday after this coming one, which would be 
nobody say it yet. Don't cut me here. off. Shut up. Go uh, to hell. Wait, is it? The 21st. It is you're the 21st. Right. You're right. Shut up. Go. <laughs> Fantastic. Aren't you eating your food? <laughs> yes, but not right now. <laughs> Thank you, Rev. The 21st. Uh, oh, I wanna... What? No, what was that? Nothing. You can talk. Nothing. Go ahead. Okay. All right. I think there's a murloc in the party. <laughs> so Thursday, the twenty-first, Rev has something special planned for that Throwback Thursday, uh, yeah. and I'll let him announce that however he sees fit. But Do I you want would me to announce it now. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, but yes, Thursday, the twenty-first, Throwback Thursday. If you are available then I would suggest that you sign up for it because private will be. Um, but Rev, did you want to announce it today? I mean, yeah, it's up to you. okay. So guys, you know how we do uh, raid races every now and then? It's usually uh, two groups to three groups. Uh, one time we had four groups running. Um, old classic raids. Well, you know what hasn't been getting a whole lot of love? The damn POE. So, me, Private, and Anaki, we decided to test it out and see how long it would take for those of us who have actually completed a 35 POE back in the day, see how long it would take and see how easy it's become since we're level 40 with, you know, almost 320 gear and things like that. So I'm going to have a race <laughs> for 35 right. POE. Our final time, I think, was less than 20 minutes. That's awesome. <laughs> we we mm -hmm. melted Skolas real quick. So I'm going to have a, a rank 35 POE raid race throwback is going to feature the poe and it's going to be random teams so you're not going to be with someone who's ran it before possibly you know you're not going to get the team that you want i'm going to randomize the hell out of it so that way everyone can have fun so if you haven't done a 35 poe this would be the time to do it i mean it's super easy it's super fun and uh yeah don't, no don't do that stop I remember when that shit gave me nightmares back in the day. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, so oh, that's what, that's uh, that's the plan for the 21st, you guys. Uh, make sure to check it out and uh, sign up for it, because uh, I think it'd be very fun. Okay, well, one question for you, Rev. Is it uh, bragging rights only, or is there an actual prize for the team that wins? Uh, actual, at, at this point, it's going to be bragging rights. I want to see how it goes first before we start dishing out prizes. Uh, SRO is kind of a big deal. It's very temporary, but since we can run these whenever we want... I kind of wanted to get a uh, feel for how the 35 POE went, and then after that, uh, probably planning on a rank 32 to rank 35 race, average time wins, things like that. And uh, okay. once we get into the bigger events, then prizes should be dished out for all three that uh, I'll probably end up providing. So at this first one, Sweet. there's not going to be much of a, a prize. It's just bragging rights, but later on down the line, who knows? I think I just got booted. Oh, you did. <laughs> Well, Man, end of the stream, guys. That was a good talk. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just calling it. Uh, oh, hold, hold on. on. Everybody dispersed. Somebody else left. Who I just got help? beavered. What the? That's, the That's an awesome thing for the uh, Twitch viewers to, to see is your error and <laughs> connection issues. I'm not. Fantastic. Here. McDonald's internet over oh, there. Can... Yeah, he is using McDonald's beaver? internet. Oh. He's, got, he's got the beavers. Well, I'm gonna to join back up. Hey, did somebody else get booted too? No, no, no just you. Not because you died. You and your Starbucks Wi-Fi. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> um, moving on. I'm I'm joining the fire team back. Yeah, you are. Point number two on my list, and this is official now. Oh shit. <laughs> Barf Skag says Beaver for the win. Um, Beaver. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Barf. Uh, Ravencon, Ravencon. If you're not yeah, familiar with Ravencon, it's something that we started up about a year ago, uh, where we actually get real life ravens to hang out in real life. What's that? <laughs> Revcon. No, not that. <laughs> this Revcon. year's. <laughs> This year's oh shit! I just got quail. Did you again? No, I got quail. Here with your zoo animals, you quail boy. I don't know what's going on. It's I can't. Damn internet. No, it's not. It's Destiny. Doesn't it's like me you, right bro. now. Destiny hates. Destiny, the you've been neglecting me, private. Fuck you. The fire team that I'm trying to join does not have open slots. 
Wow. Are we supposed to join on you now and interrupt Archie? Because we've reached a perfect zen right now. Everyone's sitting and chill, and you're the only fool flying around in space. I'm not really sure what to say to that. But I'm just going to continue on. <laughs> RavenCon will be the weekend of July 8th through the 10th in Nashville, Tennessee. That is all we have at this point. This is official. No more changing of dates or anything like that. This is this is it. Um unable to join target fire team. It's full we'll right now. You, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna join Rejoin private target. guys. Cuz uh Axi and Inaki just vanished from my uh list. Oh. They yeah, I'm, I don't have nobody in my list, but I still see everybody with green names and all the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. It's weird. We're having some you technical guys. difficulties here, but we'll get There's it. some weird stuff going on here. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So RavenCon, mark it on your calendar. And if you want an invite to the RavenCon chat, please let myself or any other of these fine ravens know that are in the chat, and you will get an invite if that's something that you'd be interested in. Now. Rev, did you have something to add to that, RavenCon? Um, yeah, actually, you know, as far as details go, all we have is the date, events that are going on at that time. Not too sure about, don't know too Hopefully much about the Hopefully not the, the area. CMAs simultaneously. Yeah, yeah at the same time. <laughs> that, was that, was, that was the original date mix-up. We, we messed that up, but um, yeah. we're trying to plan events, uh, you know, places to eat, things like that, trying to get that all set up to where if we show up, they aren't overwhelmed by 20 people showing up and saying hey we want to eat food or anything like that we're trying to find things to do that's the next step right now is to actually have event planning going on so well yeah, we should be able to love that too <laughs> oh yeah we'll update the hell out of you guys uh town hall meetings of any updates that may or may not have happened things like that, yeah. i'm done okay fantastic fantastic point three this past week's rating events I want to say congratulations and pats on the back to all the Ravens because this past week we were on top of our game. I think that I had all three of my challenge modes done before like Thursday, I want to say. Yeah. I had them all done Tuesday. Uh, Axie yeah. had his all done on Tuesday. I mean, I feel like that <laughs> this past week we were we killed it, guys. I remember when this challenge mode first came out and we were struggling. It was hard. I was angry. A lot of people were upset. But this week it was just like we went in there and we, we took charge and we owned it. So congratulations to uh, those Ravens who did get all of those things done and uh, know that the people who did sign up later in the week, it wasn't, you know, uh, it wasn't anything against you guys. I think that this past week we just really were on target with our rates getting done earlier in the week. And so by the time the end of the week came, all I really wanted to do was PvP, and I think a lot of other Ravens may have felt the same way. I could be wrong, but I think that's where we were at. Watch out, Axie. I'm trying to sit down. Um, it's my chair. Anybody have anything to add about this past week's uh, raids or anything like that? Raids good. Well, no? Unfortunately, I've been a little um, out of it with raids and stuff lately, but I'll try to be a little more active than I have been in the past. Just been busy. But, you know. Okay. I understand that. I still need at least a challenge mode, I think. Uh, oh, I still need Gold Rod challenge mode, and then whatever those are, an Orcs one, I think. Yes. <coughs> yeah. oh, He's so good, I'm not so paying attention so to you. She's on her iPad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did anybody else have anything to, to add about raids this past week, or anything else? No? Alright, moving on uh, to my next point. In a previous town hall meeting, it was brought to my attention that we should definitely have something of a suggestion box. And I have been working on this. 
and it will be live Tuesday, January 11th, and it will be available for Ravens to use, um, and it will be located on the members page for those who have actually gone to the website and know what the members page is. <laughs> Question. You see our lovely, lovely faces. Question. Oh, fire away. Fire away. Is it, uh, is it anonymous, buddy? You can put your name down if you want to, but you don't have to. Sweet. It's entirely up to you. Anonymous. So. Uh, isn't, isn't this what that is? Or just, I guess, if you get an idea, whenever you get it, just... Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. What? Nope. No, what exactly. the hell? My license you, went out. You've been beavered. Yeah, that's that's weird. Uh, I'm sorry, Anaki. Uh, what were you saying? Isn't this what what this is right here? A suggestion box? No, yeah, this suggestion box. The town hall this meeting. Is like a, where we ex express and have ideas, bring them out and stuff. Oh, I, I feel the suggestion box to be a good way to give us stuff to talk about during one of these. Yeah. A little, a little more. I, I, I cannot join. You can't join us? I'm gonna go to orbit, actually. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Again? No, I no. Huh? Are you already left? Yeah, I already left. Oh. I'm coming to get you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did the same for me. But, uh, the suggestion box... Is something that I'm I'm curious to see how it works out, man. I mean, if people use it, great. If they don't, then we'll know that, you know, it wasn't really worth it. I mean, it's not it's not really difficult to put it up. I just want to make sure that everyone is aware that it will be up and available for them to use. Um, so, suggestion box will be live Tuesday, January 11th. It can be anonymous. You can put your name in. Uh, it will go directly to the clan email. Um, so on and so forth. Now, my next point on my agenda here is signing up for events on the events scheduler. This past week, we had a invite from, I'm going to pick on Axel here. Axel uh, sent, sent the word out to let everyone know that he wanted to play some PvP with everyone. And I was like, alright, cool, I can take that and run with it and actually put up a sign up for him on the PVP list. Now I know that it is difficult to get people to sign up for the PVP list because normally it's just like you just get on and whoever's available and playing PVP is available but um, I really would like to see us using that almost the same amount that we use the raid list because I mean it's there so we should definitely utilize it it's a great tool for us so if in the future I know that I posted in the message after I did that for Axel um, if any other Ravens have <coughs> something that they want to do with PvP wise and they want to set something up you know just let me know and I can post at the event preferably a day in advance Preferably a day in advance. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It can be on the spot. Um, and then we can have that up. And then you can just direct them to the link and have them sign up. Um, and we can go from there. Any comments on that? Questions? Concerns? Uh, I have one. Um, uh, well, Axel has one. Sorry, Private. You're good. Go ahead. All right. Um, about that, you know, um, I do want to try to do that <clears throat> more often. And, uh, you know, in regards to it, too, I feel like, uh, you know, the new fledglings that we had uh, that signed up for it, because it actually turned out being um, three of the new fledglings, myself and Ripnerd, um, they did a real good job. You know, they, uh, they all went and they signed up and... Uh, <clears throat> I told them I wanted to keep doing it that way because uh, not only was it a lot of fun and you know next time I do it we hope to have that sixth slot filled so that way it's a full team 
but you know, um, I feel like it's uh, really going to help them get used to going to that PvP list to sign up just like they do for the PvE list. Um, you know, so actually you'll probably be hearing from me um, sometime tomorrow about either a Tuesday or a Wednesday date that I'm going to want another sign up up. <clears throat> so if anybody uh, is interested, uh, should be going up sometime around then. That's really all I had to say. Great, great. Thanks, Axel. Uh, I appreciate that. I mean, we all want to to reach out to the to the fledglings for sure and let them know that it's good to sign up for things. Uh, not only that, but it's also good to show up for things that you sign up for. And I know that it's. Yeah, that, that's important. <laughs> I know that sometimes it is difficult. But a quick message in the chat just to let everyone know, hey, I know I signed up for this. I won't be able to make it. Or if you thought someone was signed up for something, making sure that you go back and refresh that list because sometimes they do drop off. And, you know, I'm not asking everyone to just, you know, automatically say, hey, I dropped off the list. I mean, I know things happen, you know, just make sure that you're paying attention to it. You know, and you're not spamming someone who actually dropped off the list. I've been guilty of that. Uh, didn't have the list refreshed, and come to find out, you know, I, I was spamming someone who was not available anymore. So, simple things like that to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, appreciate that, Axel. Um, uh, my... could, could I uh, could I comment on? Uh, that too. Probably. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Um, you know, and it's it's only because that actually does um, refer to me this time around because uh, there was that PvP event on um, Friday that I had signed up for and I had every intention of doing it. I was online and ready. I was even in the party, but just as I joined the party, something very very important went down and I didn't have time to message anybody I had to drop everything and just go I, I mean I, I did try to apologize in the chat but nobody ever really uh, responded to it but I just wanted to let you know that um, I would have told somebody if I if I could have but it, it just happened to be a particular time where I could not I, I did see your message, Axel. I and I was I think I had a message yeah, typed up, too. and I might have fallen back asleep after I had read it or something like that. I can't remember, but yes, and I I did appreciate that. So it did it did reach I think uh, you know me and you know those intended people. And I'll be honest with you, we didn't have the mock PVP event, but me, JMO, and Fox, I believe we went into Rumble and we had a grand old time. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it sounds like it was it would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, so but definitely I, I definitely plan on rescheduling that. That was actually next on my list of things to talk about is uh rescheduling that and putting that back up on the list at some point. Um, cuz I would like to see that completed. Uh, 3v3. Um, Barf asked for an elimination sign-up sheet. Yep. And that is definitely possible, Barf. Uh, I don't see any reason why not. Uh, my last topic uh, before I open up the floor to everyone is the <laughs> Ravens... Uh, uh -oh. oh crap! We lost somebody. Who do we lose? Actually, uh, keep... no worries, guys. We'll just keep on going. I'm here in the chat listening. All right, cool. So the last thing that I want to bring up is our uh, drawing contest and oh, yes. <laughs> how that's going. I want to remind everyone that uh, that is still currently going on. And if you haven't seen any details on it, please check at our website, ravensofthealm.com, on how you can submit your drawing, and we can uh, uh, 
take a look at those and then put them out for voting whenever the time comes, which would be uh, January 31st, I believe. End of the month. End of the month. It will be the uh, last day to submit for that. Now, you this is... You probably just talk to Solar, too. I'm sure she should tell you all sorts of stuff. Definitely. And uh, unfortunately, Solar couldn't be here today, but I definitely wanted to to make sure that I brought this up because I know this is in her uh, her realm um, of things that she does for the Ravens. Um, big shout out to Solar and, and thank you to her for what she does for the Ravens. Really appreciate Ooh. that. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so this contest would actually be for uh, the next uh, set of hoodies, shirts, and anything else uh, that we decide to slap our name on and make it to where we can buy it and wear around in public which is something I love to do yeah I mean you can ask uh, Rev and Anaki I always wear the sweatshirt that I have yep. and a uh, shirt and a shirt and his underwear <laughs> yeah, yeah. underwear too yeah, that's it. Raven underwear <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's actually a thong. Yeah. What? Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus. Leopard spotted Raven's underwear. There is no yeah, Raven. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. Yeah. Look at this shit, guys. Look at all this shit. He's making that stuff. Yep. <laughs> With Raven's Raven kind of coming up. Guys are the new things. Um, With Raven kind of coming up, that's going to be some good stuff to have, too. Oh, oh actually, no. look like a group. Definitely, no, I want to... Yeah, we're a group wearing the same thong, that's great. I want to remind... Uh, that's Jesus. <laughs> I want to remind everyone that the uh, winner of the drawing contest is actually getting a free uh, free t-shirt. Is that what it is? Or a free hoodie? I can't remember. You don't, you don't remember? Oh, well, shit. What is it? It's Let free me... something, right? It's, they get something for free. I can't remember what All it right. is. Free stuff is good, no matter what Woo! it is. <laughs> But yeah, that was my, uh, that was my, <laughs> that was my last point. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the floor and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys for, you know, questions, comments, concerns, or anything else that you can think of. Damn it, Axie. Just trying to sit <laughs> down. All right. The floor is open, guys. Take it away. Twitch streamers too. Twitch uh, viewers as well. Take it away, but we want moves. to hear you. Is it I before E except after C? <laughs> yes. That <is> nice. <laughs> Anybody um, have anything? So, uh, with uh, I guess this is a little for far ahead in the future, but with RavenCon coming up, um, I just want to kind of you know plan my funds and you know, my finances for that crap. Uh, and I was just wondering, you know, if, uh, I'm assuming we'll probably, at least in an ideal situation, stay in the same building, because that would probably make that much easier. And yes. And maybe even uh, share some rooms. That would be kind of nice, too, especially for finances, if, you know, anyone's willing, at least. I don't want to be, you know, that creeper of like, hey, you want to stay with me? <laughs> <laughs> I got a spare bed in my bedroom. <laughs> I got a roll size bed. I only take up a full size, so if you want to share. <laughs> I got a roll away in the corner. There you <laughs> but, go. Uh, yeah, Jeez. um, uh, I don't know. If, you know, that'd be nice. And then also with uh, obviously eating. You know, bars, whatever we do, and then maybe some other stuff. Uh, I mean, and I'm sure that's all kind of in the works still, but just, you know, planning ahead. You, I'm probably going to end up using my 2015 tax return for that, so, you know. <coughs> but. God, you guys are crazy. <laughs> yes, Puma, those are all things that, that are in the works. And yeah. I actually just added it to the list on the RavenCon. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I don't want to know. 
I'm looking at my laptop and I just hear these sounds and I'm like, what is going on? And I look up <laughs> and there's like three of you. All right, well, the. Uh... Anyway, yeah, that, that, that's basically what I had to say. <clears throat> I, I don't want to spend a crap ton of money on hotels. And now that we're not staying the same weekend as the CMAs, it'll probably make that much easier. Yeah. So, I that's good I, I have a suggestion, maybe for raids. Talk, 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 talk. Okay. Take it away, Anaki. <laughs> uh, what you got? I know that. Um, I know that. Um, you know, not a lot of people get to sign up for raids at the time they need to sign up, and they go through a lot of loop for groups to get their raids done. Um, but I'm trying to see. If well, see, the thing is, today we went through uh, back and forth with a couple of members. I did. Um, and that got me thinking uh, of trying to see if we can get a way. Uh, let's see. There's different ways of getting stuff done in the raids, right? And it seems like a lot of Ravens, they run, look for group stuff. They find out different ways of beating the raid or beating bosses. But, uh, and then we're getting in the raid, and we have discussions about how we're going to do the raid. And it takes 15 minutes just to get one, to pick one and go with it. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe we can get a Raven way and stick with that, and it will make it easier for everybody because they'll know that it's going to get done one way instead of fighting or fighting everybody in CMA or, yes, uh, for 15 that minutes. Be, that would be beautiful. <laughs> because that's what happened today, and I'm um, sorry for everybody that we were, you know, I was discussing or we were getting, you know, a little pissed off here and there. But um, if we can get just one way, and that's the way we're going to run it, and nobody argues, and everybody knows that's the Raven way to do it, you know? I don't know. That's it. For running raids? Well, My suggestion works. would be to do the challenge modes. Challenge modes or modifications of the challenge modes. So that way, when the challenge mode pops up, people aren't too uh, dumbfounded by what they actually have to do. It's similar to what they've done before in regular raids when you aren't doing challenge mode. Like in uh, the challenge mode for Oryx, you know, you have to knock out all four blights. Well, in challenge mode for every other thing, when you're doing Oryx, it's normally you blow two blights on one turn and then one for each turn after that. So it's a slight modification to actually doing the challenge mode. Right. Instead of making it easier and faster, don't make things easier and faster. Just make it to where when the challenge mode comes up, it's not, you're not awestruck or dumbfounded by having to actually do the challenge mode because you're used to doing modifications. See, T Rep, today we, we had a, a challenge mode where we were discussing for about 15 minutes if we were going to do the bubbles in the bottom or we're going to do bubbles in the top yeah. and what was easier or what was harder. Um, so if we can get one way. And that's the way we're going to do it. If it's all Ravens, um, I know if you look for a group, it's a little harder to get your point across sometimes because you don't know the people. But if it's all Ravens, we already know what we're going to be running. You know what I mean? It seemed like we waste a lot of time just just uh, discussing and trying to find out how we're going to get that stuff done. Mm -hmm. yep. Can I, I uh, can actually, I play off of what uh, Inaki was saying? Actually, actually, second that one because. Uh, I'm sorry, I cut you out. Go ahead. I'll, I'll wait. Nothing. No, yeah. Um, I was just thinking that it would be good to have something like a, a guide of the way to do it. So we pick a Raven way, but then we have it somewhere written, maybe also back with videos, just to show people, like, this is what we do. This is how we do it. And this way, it's like, it's down on paper, and it's something everybody can look at on the site. Yeah, I'll, that's all I'll I want to say. Going, I'll, yeah, I was pretty much going the same way. Yeah, it, it would be a nice way because let's say you go and uh, pick up a group of ravens, but then like it's kind of like Inaki says, you 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 feel like you get in a group and it's like you're getting it from like Destiny LFG because one runs it this way, the other one runs it the other way, and then and then everybody wants to be the one that is run is ran their way. So yeah, I mean it takes 15 minutes just figuring it out what everybody's gonna do. When yep. if we know if we know that we raid together every week, um, we could uh, maximize that time to just get it done. Cause I'm, I'm 
pretty sure nobody wants to do five hours a day. Somebody wants to go get get the stuff, no. get the 320 gear, and do some, some other stuff. Instead of yep. discussing just one hour, <coughs> what strategy you can use. Ah, uh, that's it. Gorgeous. I totally agree with that. That That is probably one thing that, I mean, it, it bothers me a little bit when I have to sit around for like four hours while someone explains something, like, or a new way of doing something, and then, you know, sometimes it's good, but then sometimes it ends up not working, and I'm just like, ugh, I should just do it the way we always do it. But, you know, it happens, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Also, yeah. um, Thanks, I have to, that. I have to kind of <laughs> admit that I'm rather inexperienced with the Oryx raid because, as I said, I have been, my schedule has been much busier lately than normal. So there's just some part of the Oryx raids, especially the hard mode, that I just don't really know how to do because I haven't really had many. You know, I'm I'm just inexperienced with it. So. <coughs> Maybe it almost be good to have like some training sessions on certain stuff. Like for example, when I um, was doing a hard mode raid, I you know real I realized there was a problem that I was completely uh, uncomfortable with doing aura in the war priest, and they're like, oh, you gotta know how to do that. So, but like, I didn't want to mess it up for them, so I just you know so I don't just want to take it then. But then I feel like that kind of ruin the synergy, I guess. That might be nice to have something, you know, <laughs> even something on the page talking about that. Ooh, they've got some of mine. Now, Puma, when you say ruin synergy, do you mean like you saying that you couldn't do it made it difficult for the raid team, or it was just a matter of them moving people around? Well, yeah, it was just a matter of moving people around, I think, but that sometimes, like, it just makes it so much, especially in hard mode, it makes it so much easier when everyone is able to pick up the aura and then it's just not a problem. Right. <clears throat> I agree with you there. Because there's some times where someone happens to die, which happens, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh god, I need to take it now, but I'm, you know, I'm really uncomfortable with it and have no idea what I'm doing. So. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, I thought I knew what I was doing. And Anaki can vouch for me. I probably used to die the most when I held the aura in the beginning. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah, but yeah. I had, <laughs> I learned. The more I did it, I don't know. the more I learned. Ah, whatever. Get off my ass. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, that, that aura thing, it's, it's so hard. Uh, they run away from you, no so you're gonna die yeah. eventually. Yeah. 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 yeah, the hard part is that sometimes you have a perfect run where all the accurate are just there shooting at you up in the open, and then sometimes all goddamn 10 accurate just wanna hide behind behind the rocks. So, I mean, it's gonna happen every, every now and then. I mean, more now for private, but besides the point. Uh, it happens. Then, so I actually <laughs> about feel bad. about the war don't priest feel, don't specifically feel bad about messing up the energy of the group. Man, it's gonna happen. It has happened to me. It happened to Nazi. It happens to everybody. Everybody's like, man, the fucking things just hide, and it's the truth. The acolytes just hide. It just happens. See, yeah. so about about holding the the aura of the war priest. I actually like be because I've been raiding with various different ravens. I've learned different like tips and tricks. Like some people say that the problem they're hiding is you're aiming down sights. Aiming. So yep. release yeah. your sights and look away, and they'll start peeking again. And then oh. I think it might have been Cherno who brought up the other option is just take a rocket launcher and fire at the corner of that wall that they're hiding behind, and it'll hit them. You know the blast will kill them, so yeah. you'll stay alive, and you'll you know take. I mean you run the risk of losing an extra stack of the brand if you hit multiples. Because I used oh, to run funny. it with firefly like a noob so i oh. lose like two stacks <laughs> at a time um but i've since then learned and uh, those yeah. are types of things that if you write if they're written down somewhere or some like tips and tricks for certain sections of the raid it'd be very helpful for everybody and help people get more comfortable with it or at least be more educated on it and then you bring the experience and by just doing it with repetition yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. 
the but biggest. What I do want though, Puma, it's if, for instance, if you've never done it and if you're uncomfortable doing it, just say, hey guys, this is my first time, but I don't mind doing it. You know, I want right. actually Ravens, I want Ravens to actually say, I, I'll do it, even though I don't know how to do it or I it's my first time or because it's it's been a lot of times where a lot of ravens you know stay in the back and don't learn how to do a lot of the processes and the raids <laughs> yep that's me <laughs> and uh, and when there's their turn to take a team in by themselves or to be the most experienced in the group they don't yeah, know you know and and that's when we don't we don't want ravens <laughs> to struggle in raids and you know that's yeah. been since volta glass dude i mean that's not just oh, right man. now this is Vault of Glass, I still don't know how to do any of the relics, or I'd never touch that crap. Like, I'm not doing that. Someone else can do it. <laughs> I'm no good at that stuff, yeah. Perhaps... That's the kind of mentality we're trying to break out of. Right, that's that's you, the you attitude. The same people doing it. Yep. I mean, it's... Yep. You, you, the, more, the more you know, the more valuable you're going to be in a raid, and the more people will want to raid with you, so you won't have a problem getting raids signed up or anything like that, because, you know, if someone who has zero experience is the only person to sign up for a raid... <laughs> Yeah, well, they're not other other, other players yeah. who don't know how to do things aren't going to sign up because they're like, oh, he doesn't know how to do the relic. I don't know how to do the relic, so I'm not going to sign up until someone who knows how to do the relic is going to sign up. People pick up on these things. They're not, oh, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah, really fast. Game, gamers gamers know, you know, it, it's it's the strongest. You know, how much does this person know? I know I'm going to get it done with this person. Be that raven who knows how to do everything. So that way, hey, I want to raid with that person. I want to raid with that person. People want to raid with you. All right, so I have a comment from uh, from Roll to Play here. I'm going to read off real quick. Uh, Blue said, "How about just a quick vote and move on, or was it evenly split?" I'm thinking she's referring to the uh, confrontation that happened with the raid. Anaki, oh, um, uh, we tried that, but it, what ended up happening? Sorry, Anaki. Um, do you mind if I take sure. it? Sure, okay. sure. Um, when we got to the Oryx challenge, we were, it was a big debate between top and bottom, and everybody had done both, and oh, some people had done both, some people had done one over the other, so everybody had their opinion on which was better, and I tried to suggest doing this, there's six of us, let's vote, but I don't think anybody really, everybody had already stood their ground on it, so nobody really voted, but then Rip made the, um, the good point that it's really up to the two people being the Titans, because they're the ones who would either have to shoot at angles from above or peeking out from the middle. And then we ended up just doing it from the pillars. That's that's how that one went down. Okay. Anaki, did you have anything to add to that? <clears throat> well, see, we kind of, it was kind of like, all right, let's, uh, let's put it like this. It, it, we struggled with Golgoroth. And then there was already a point where I was, we were kind of tired. We were going to get it done. So that's what I'm saying. If we have one way of doing it, then we don't have to discuss on voting or what are we going to do. It's just one way and we get it done. And I don't know. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Things change a lot every week. There's a new way of doing things. And if one way works, one way should work for everybody. I don't know. That's just yeah. my point of view. The you know way. I mean? yeah. <laughs> the raven but way. This was the first week I've actually done killing your uh, Halak first, the right daughter. Uh, yeah. This was my first week doing that because I, you know, we heard about it and suddenly it was a thing. Like it kind of, like I've done the raid four or five times this week, and everybody was down to do that. Your Halak. Your yeah. Halak. Yeah. The right one instead of the left. one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, Blue adds that at least you guys got it resolved and you're still friends. Um, oh, well, see, well, we got it done. Matters. We got it done. It was just that we continue discussing afterwards of oh, what yeah. would have been better, what not would have been better, and what's the roles and what's is your role. So it's just, uh, yeah. Oh, we're all friends, Blue. I mean, other than that, we're just having fun playing the game, you know? Maybe we should, um, Anaki, do you want to go a little further with what the discussions that continued afterwards? You, if you want to bring it up, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, before, we, before we go any further, is it necessary? Is it going to benefit, or? Um, it's, I mean, it, negative. It's... It's part of learning the raid. It's part of everybody knowing the roads. It's 
Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. So it is ben so it is beneficial. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. It's just be okay. A, like, all right, we're just going to leave it at that. I'm going to take Axie's point, and I'm going to say we're going to leave it at that. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. guys, uh, I'm going to actually have to head out. Okay. All right, Rev. That was good. Later, um, peace out, Rev. Bye, Rev. Uh, Later, Rev. Bye, Rev. Oh, nice Axel, we can hear you now. Good deal. Oh, well, well Private, that, that message that I had sent you was back when I had first joined the party. I was having mic issues. I've actually just <laughs> been listening this whole time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh well, fantastic. Uh, I have another but, comment but here. Anyway, uh, oh, go about, ahead, Axel. Uh, I'm so, I'm sorry. Uh, I just I figured while I was uh, able to talk, I would throw one thing in. Um, I've seen that method uh, with the bubbles, you know, and the pillars, uh, done both ways because I was actually present whenever you guys beat it with killing. Um, you know, I was over at his house, and uh, you guys were using the bottom strategy. And, uh, you know, whenever I beat it with uh, my group, we were using the pillars. And uh, it seems like neither one is uh, more effective than the other. So, you know, if there's ever a debate, um, maybe it should just fall down to, like, the titans in the group. And, like, what they're most comfortable with rather than, um, like, the people who aren't actually going to be doing the bubbles. I mean, because... But that's... It... Yeah, that's what it boiled go, down go to. Go ahead, Inaki. I, yeah. I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, start anything. It, it was just my <sighs> point of view on it. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing, though. If one Titan likes one way and the other Titan likes the other way, then there goes that's, 10 minutes. That's when you get a problem, yeah. It, it's just, if we get <laughs> one way of doing things, for me, it, it would be much easier than me arguing with somebody and saying, well, I like the top or you like the bottom. You know? Hey, I like the top, you hear? Whatever, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Private, I don't know what you think. Um, but I know for sure there's been a couple of times when we are at Goldoroth and somebody says, one bubble or one grape or and the other one says well no well, let's do two and then there goes 20 30 minutes and we really haven't done none of them yeah. so it's just Gograt is another one uh, so i think one of those things where Gograt and oryx are the two or at least go like, like oryx we should like i like what uh jutaro said uh, jutaro said about making uh maybe rules or making the video and say this is the way we handle this this situation or this is the way the raven is if you want to follow it you can follow it but every time that it's i don't know then that's the way it's going to be either if it changes the boat changes or somebody changes it and everybody's okay with it that's fine but if not then this should be one way of running it that's my point yeah yeah that's it I should say. be a, it, sh it should be at least a default i mean we're not saying that you gotta do it this way or you know what just leave and we're gonna find somebody else but it should be the default with no, we're not talking about it. Then somebody wants to like chip in, be like, "Hey guys, what about this? What about this? Or I don't feel comfortable with this right now at this moment. Can we do a variation? But to at least have a default where everybody knows that they're gonna go in with ravens <coughs> in a certain way until something has to be changed for whatever reason. Okay. I didn't know this guy yeah. walked around. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's my here's my next uh, thing. Uh, who was that? Uh, Taru, was it was it your idea for the uh, video slash maybe putting something on paper, at least saying that you know, yeah. unless unless uh, you know, there's like a <laughs> someone saying, hey, you know, what about this way? This is the default way that we're going to be doing these types of raids. Um, yeah, yeah, just because um, I mean, I, I just want to use like another example. Like, everybody knows how to do certain uh, roles in the raid, but what happens when the roles are switched all of a sudden? Maybe that person knows how to play Platform 1. Maybe they don't know Platform 3 because, you know, the platform number you play on is also kind of is based off of the runner and the speed of the runner. If the runner's fast enough, sometimes as Platform number 3, you don't have a chance to look at your knight. You you, you got to get to the middle and then deal with your knight there versus 
if you have a slower runner, like the third person on the platform has to, like, you know what it means? Like, there's a lot of different variations depending on who you run with and what happens. So something like written down that kind of covers bases uh, and edge cases as they occur. Like, oh, so if you have a fast runner, you know, this is how you would do platform three. Or if this, you have a slower runner, you know, this is your main role, but here's a tip and trick for faster or slower runners. That's just like, uh, that's just a personal. No, I see, I, I, I see what you're saying and I, and I agree with you, you know, um, I think that, that that's going to require a, a little bit of time. I shouldn't say a little, a lot of bit of time uh, in order to yeah, uh, yeah. put together. <laughs> uh, but if we're all willing to chip in and do something like that, then I think it's very possible um, for a, a default. And as Mud put it in the uh, comments here on Twitch, uh, SOP, uh, in which equals standard operating procedures. Thank you for that, Mud. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool i mean yeah i would love i mean the playstation constantly records your gameplay so you know after you finish a, a, a boss fight just go back to the share button and save the video clip and then use that and then exactly. people could compile that all together um maybe yeah. just just spitballing yeah share play goes back like 20 minutes or something like that so once you hit it you're good okay yeah. Sounds so like maybe we could break it up into two weeks and or, or n not to make it seem like it's crazy amounts of work, but do like certain parts of the raid each week, uh, different roles uh, during that week and get a group of people together who want to be involved with putting that this uh, quote unquote guide uh, slash standard operating procedure for the raids. Yeah. Uh -huh. For sure. Hey, uh, private. What's up, Axel? Um, this really um can't like fully apply to me right now because uh, okay, with the holidays and stuff that have been going on lately, you know, um, I know I used to uh be a little bit more um diligent to say the least about like raid clinics and stuff and unfortunately I've still got a lot of stuff going on right now so I still can't be as diligent with them as I want to be but I'm just throwing it out there that like um, this is for the people who have done the raid too by the way you know and you know you, you're already pretty comfortable with it if there's something that you don't know how to do like a role that you don't do very often you might you might not be very comfortable with it you know you can feel free to sign up for those raid clinics just to practice for that too. I mean, because that is a problem um, that we were having beforehand. I, you know, I can't really speak from experience now that the holidays are over because you know I just haven't had as much time to do it lately. But you know, if uh, you notice that, like there's still spots open and it doesn't really seem like anybody's jumping for them, you know, and there's a part of that that you want to learn. Uh, to be more useful in a raid group like Private was talking about earlier, feel free to sign up for that. And, you know, whoever's doing the raid clinic, they'll be happy to teach you that role. Because, you know, the only reason I was heading them up is because I know how to do every role. You know, uh, just throwing that out there. That's a cool name for a raid clinic. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Did you guys uh, used to do that for like, uh, was it just for King's Fall, or was did, was this before like Vault of Glass, Protozen, those types of things? Um, King's I Fall. I mean, in the beginning, it was to... pretty prevalent. Uh, I know that what we consider raid clinics might just be like a normal mode raid, just taking uh, oh, people through who have never actually done it before, and getting them comfortable with the mechanics of the raid because. You know, shit gets real in hard mode if you're not prepared for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I guess we didn't. We never call them clinics, but we we've been doing this since World of Glass Private, huh? where we used to take three at a time yeah. through and then teach them the ropes, basically, and the Raven way to do things because there's different ways of doing World of Glass, but. <laughs> 
kind of the way that worked for us, I guess. Mm-hmm. I, I, I agree. Um, I think that there is a lot of, uh, a lot of potential here, you know, to where we can maximize our efforts and be able to have a group of people sign up and then not have to worry about that particular group filling up. I think you guys kind of know what I mean. Um, because I know that a lot of people do screen rates. I mean, they see who signs up, they look at it. And, you know, they think about it before they sign up. They're like, well, do I have four hours to spend on this? And then based on the people, you know, that determines whether or not they're going to sign up. Yeah. And what I would like is, you know, for everyone to be like, all right, well, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter. You know, we're going to be able to get this done within, you know, two hours max. And I think yeah. that's going to come down to uh, teaching. And, and us getting higher level and stuff too. Teaching, and granted, training. Are, <laughs> um, and also Barf brought up a good point, which is something that you know, we uh, we do do. He said, um, "What about raids specifically for relic slash aura training?" Um, which would be essentially yeah. a, a raid clinic. Um, That's what that yeah. sounds like. And here's the I thing about raid clinics is that, you know, uh, unless we have a, a specified number of people, then most of the time, you know, it can be a little difficult to pull people for that. Um, just food for thought. Uh, if there, if you do have availability, you know, and you're you want to be one of those people that teaches or does have time in your schedule to teach, then, you know, let let me know or let someone know and I can coordinate things with your schedule um, um, and my schedule and whoever else could be available that day or something like that anything as long as we're communicating I think we can get 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 it done uh, and if I may um, you know even if you you know you feel like you you don't have time really um to be one of those people who teaches all the time which unfortunately right now is uh you know the case with me not being able to do it as often as i want to do um you know if you happen to see a raid clinic going on and you really don't have anything else better to do and you want to be that cool guy who teaches at least one time feel free to sign up because we you know we're getting new fledglings all the time right now and uh, you know it's every raven every full-fledged ravens uh, responsibility to make them feel welcome and show them how badass of a clan we are because I think that's something we all agree on the ravens are awesome we're hell proud yeah. to be ravens yeah. right hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah. even though I've been a little absent-minded lately but... It happens, you know. We we uh, life happens, you know. That that's the yeah, best way to put it. it sure did. <laughs> best example I can give is of uh, Colony. He uh, he left, and now he's back, which which is really cool because we're all about that. Yeah. People come and go. And, and that that was in no way like trying to to reprimand anybody. That was just you know, hey, if you know you're available and feel like you want to teach somebody do it you know feel free we, you know we all want everybody to feel welcome um you know that's all okay yeah. thank you uh did anybody have anything that they wanted to add because what i'd like to do is i'm gonna make up some notes here to for things that's gonna be happening in the following week and then uh after that i think i will adjourn the meeting and then we can all go about our uh, the rest of our oh, Sunday business. Sunday night um, so I've got uh, suggestion box will be live on Tuesday and then um, raid clinics um, for the next week and then I've got uh, 
what else do we have? Not just raid clinics, but uh, something else. Something else that I'm missing. slipped my mind <laughs> oh uh sops <laughs> for oh, SOP. for the for what? different <laughs> portions of the king's fall king's fall raid and then i'll what I'll do is I'll make a post and see who wants to be involved with that and see if I can't get a group together so we can start get cranking out some videos. Um, That'd be great. Uh, what else, guys? Was there is there something else that I'm missing? Mm. Nope, I think... Uh, planning for Raving Town, I guess. Uh, that is uh, that is at the top so. of my list, but uh, <coughs> on the back burner as well. Uh, that's private, console. private, not dying so many times at the war please. <laughs> ah, well. yeah, dude, that's Great me. I die private. all the time. I hate that fucker so much. <clears throat> He's always the reason that my raids last for four hours because it takes forever to beat yeah. him. We well, need a raid tenant uh, for private war please. Rage nah, we, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, we're... Nah, man. I hit every... I still hit every single hole in the ground trying to get a go glass seller. <laughs> um, yeah, that's whenever I see X's name, I don't go into the raids. I will actually be going into Trials Ballistic with Axie and Anaki after this. Ballistic asked what I was doing after this. Um... With that, I think that that's going to adjourn our meeting. I've got our notes, and then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make a post for those people who want to be involved with the SOPs for the raids so we can start putting together some videos of the different roles, and then maybe we can uh, post some things to the website for uh, what we feel like will be our standard operating procedures for raids. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be down. We can start Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Safe. Well, then, uh, with that, guys, I want to thank you all for being here for our seventh town hall meeting. Uh, those on the stream, those here at the New Monarchy Fire Pit, thank you for joining. And if uh, you want to say goodbye, please do so. Bye. Goodbye, Raven. Good night. Good night. See you at recess. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Indeed. I'll see y'all sometime. Hey, I didn't know. Hey, re private. I didn't know those. You didn't know that? <laughs>